my friend Leroy made this armor for his son Cody. It's out of EVA foam. And he's got a really neat looking sword. And all the accessories to go with it. This goes around the waist. So, Cody, this video is for you. So, anyway, right now I am just plasti dip painting the outside of this. So, uh, you end up with this finish here. And this is what the uh, can of plasti dip looks like. So, I am just spraying that to coat and seal the foam. Okay, and here goes the first coat of the brass or bronze or whatever color that is. So, let's see what this looks like. Okay, we're going to paint one of the shoulder things here. Well, here are the pieces, all spray painted. And here is the armor vest part, and then the waistband part. I should make it around here. The waistband part. So now I just gotta wait for it to dry good and then we'll be ready for the bronze, the antiquing and aging and all that good stuff. Okay, I've moved the camera over here so you can see the difference between the back, which I have not done. Well, just a little bit right there. And the front, which I have done. So you can see there's quite a bit of difference there. So anyway, I'll show you the whole thing when I get it, uh, all the pieces done. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do the uh, leather grain on these cuffs and also on the belt. So what I've done is I've added some yellow to this to bring the color up just a little bit. And I think I'm actually going to bring that up even just a little bit more. Because when you apply a lighter color to a darker background like this, it's going to blend in quite a bit. So 
we'll try this and see if it's light enough. So what I've got here is some tissue paper. One side's waxed and the other side isn't, so you want to make sure that you use a side that is not waxed. So I just crinkled it all up in a ball so we kind of get some natural looking texture, I guess, if you want to say that. So just kind of undo it now. And I just want to real lightly get that in there. Maybe tamp it off just a little bit. And so you can see that the whole end of that is not covered. So it's very subtle, but there we have like the lighter colors in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix a little bit darker and do the same thing with the uh, darker brown. So like I said, you don't want to go like real darker, you're just going to have black streaks all over there. Like I said, you don't want a whole lot on there. Just a little. And now I'll just kind of go over this with this darker color now. And I don't have one on me, but what a uh, thing that makes a really good uh, green tool or like a veining in it uh, is a feather. Just a real long feather. And I could probably maybe kind of replicate that. feather would be better. Or if you've got one of those real long detailing brushes, that would be good too. But very, very lightly go in there. Then you can actually just kind of drag it across your project. Like I said, that'll blend in some, but it kind of gives you the illusion of leather grain. 